Thank you for the sun. Thank you for the moon. Thank you for the stars at night and the darkness too. Bless you for your peace. Bless you for your grace. Bless you for your perfect love and your perfect ways. And all shall be well. All shall be well. All manner of things shall be well. And all shall be well. All shall be well. All manner of things shall be well. Use me as you will. Remove my selfish pride. Create in me a servant heart to bless your holy bride. And when my work is done and the seeds are sown, please receive my spirit, Lord, and welcome me home. And all shall be well, all shall be well, all manner of things shall be well. And all shall be well, all shall be well. Good morning, my name is Anne-Marie Parker and I welcome you very warmly to this Advent prayer for the second Friday of Advent. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Now to what can I compare to the people of this day? There are like children sitting in the marketplace. One grief shouts to the other, We played wedding music for you, but you wouldn't dance. We sang funeral songs, but you wouldn't cry. When John came, he fasted and drank no wine. And everyone said, He has a demon in him. When the Son of Man came, he ate and drank wine. And everyone said, Look at this man. He is a glutton and a wine drinker a friend of tax collectors and other outcasts. God's wisdom, however, is shown to be true by its results. The Gospel of the Lord. Blessed are you, O Mother of my Lord, when I heard you greeting, life in me was stirred. Oh, what joy, what hope now fills the world. God is with us, our Emmanuel. Hail, O Mary, one so full of grace, through the power of God, life quickened in your womb. Blessed are you, O Mother of my Lord, ever open to the Word of God. John the Baptist's passion was to prepare the world for the coming of the Messiah, Jesus. Some listened, others didn't. Jesus' ministry of healing, forgiveness and transforming lives was also welcomed by some, but rejected by others. Our world cries out for God's mercy and love. And like John, we are called to prepare the world to receive it. Sometimes this is hard. Like John and Jesus, our actions for justice and call to love can be mocked and rejected. Let us pray. To God who reaches out to us in many ways, we pray, O oh God, hear us. For prophets who call us to justice, we pray, O oh God, hear us. For world leaders who act justly and walk humbly, we pray, O God, hear us. For those who are elderly, 
And show us the path to wisdom, we pray. O God, hear us. For those who hear the cry of the poor and respond to their need, we pray. O God, hear us. For our own intentions. We pray, O oh God, hear us. Faithful God, you reach out to us and call us to grow in loving relationship with you. Give us ears to hear your voice and the courage to follow it. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.